These are rocks that I found at a logging site in a quarry. Uh, they appear to be basaltic rocks. And this is my first control group. And the, this control group is going to be crushed up earth rock. You're just going to crush those? Mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot of work. Jeez. <laughs> Was it stronger than meteorites? Yeah, the meteorites were kind of like sand and they would crush easily. And then these are a lot harder to crush. <laughs> These are the trays that I'm going to grow my plants in. This is the crushed up earth rock, the earth soil. And this is the meteorite soil, crushed up meteorites. This is a heated propagation mat that I'm going to put all my plants onto so that it has it so that it encourages fast germination these are my four different types of soils this one is crushed up meteorite this one is crushed up earth rock this one is a an amendment of crushed up meteorite and vermiculite and vermiculite vermiculite improves aeration and drainage in the soil and it's super light so you can bring it up into space if it wouldn't cost much to bring it up to space. And this is a perfect soil. It's bought at the store and it has lots of organic matter in it. These are the seeds that I'm going to use. They're West Coast seeds. And in my opinion, they're the best seeds on the West Coast. This is a variety of radish called Rudolph. This one is corn salad called Grenon. This one is a spinach called Space Spinach, which is ironic because we're working with meteorites. And this is a snap pea variety called Sugar Ann. This is the Granon, the corn salad granon. This one is the space spinach, and then it's just granon, space spinach, granon, space spinach, granon, space spinach. I'm going to take the snap peas whoop, and I'm going to have eight to nine of the smaller seeds, and then I'm going to have three of the snap peas. I'm just going to push them down a little bit and then I'm going to put more soil on top of each. I just opened the Rudolph radish seeds and they're so beautiful. They're metallic, they're silver. I wonder why that is. Hmm, weird. This is how they're arranged in the cell packs. There's corn salad, there's three corn salad. There is three snap peas. There's three space spinach and there's three radishes and they're arranged like 
that in every single pod. Now that I have planted all my seeds, I'm going to use only distilled water so that I don't have any outside contam contaminants to, um, I just don't want any other bacteria to get in. Right now I'm putting it into my light box and the heating pads are on. And there's screws that I can hook it on to. It's day two, and in the peas, in the meteorite, the peas are starting to come up. You can see the cracking. And then in the crushed up earth rock, we're starting to see some of the peas and some of the radish. But I've noticed that it may be mold. I'm not quite sure, but there might be mold growing on these. It might be just the micro roots that we'll see. Yeah. Not sure what radishes look like when they're baby like that. And then in the amendment of vermiculite and meteorite, we see some cracking with the peas. You can see a little green in there too. Yeah, a little bit of green. Down in there. And then in the earth, the organic soil, we see some cracking in the radishes, and then one radish has come up. So it's day number five, and the radishes has, have come up in the organic soil. And radishes and peas, radishes and peas in the quarry, crushed up earth rock soil. And the meteorites are doing well too, radishes and peas. And the spinach is sort of coming up. It's almost there. And then in the quarry, there's some spinach coming up here, and in this one. And then the organic soil, the spinach is up, peas are up, and radishes are up. And then in the mix of vermiculite and osmocote and meteorite soil, there's only one radish coming up, and it doesn't look too healthy. And we, I noticed that at the bottom, 
there's a, I don't know, fluffy white buildup. And I tasted it, and it's salt. I don't, it's none of the, none of the plants are growing. There's even salt on the top, and I tasted it, it's really salty. It's probably a reaction between the iron and the osmocote, and the osmocote are these little, little balls right here. And I don't know what's gone wrong, it's just seeped up, and then also it's come down at the bottom. None of the other boxes have it. So I'm thinking it's in the Osmocote or Vermiculite that's making this happen.